Hello guys, uh, today I am going to show you how to draw figures for presentations of coded data from SPSS. Uh, guys, here I'm holding a questionnaire that has several questions from question 1 up to question 16. The study sought to find out uh, challenges facing house helps in Nairobi and Kajado counties. So guys, uh, using data that was collected from the field, actually uh, you have to call this data in SPSS. Remember SPSS has two windows, the variable view and data view. The variable view is a place where uh, the researcher can type the questions together with the answers given in the questionnaire. Whereas the data view is a platform that provides you with uh, the platform to, to analyze your data basing on the coded data from the questionnaires. So straight to our mission, guys, first of all, allow me to show you how to analyze data using SPSS. Uh, you go to in your SPSS, you go to analyze, uh, you go to descriptive statistics, then right up to frequencies. Then, guys, from there you find that uh, the question items will come into a box here. But remember, you have to move these uh, questions into variables box. So remember, using one hand, therefore, allow me to use a shortcut. So I will hold on control and then A to select all. Then I'll move the questions into the variables uh, section. So. After that, you click on OK to get the output of the SPSS. So as you can see, guys, uh, this part comprises several uh, sections. The first one gives a summary of data that has been uh, analyzed. So like for, for this one, we are using data that is from the biographic information only. So like we have sex, age bracket, nationality, county, marital status, and education level. So guys, I want us to use this information to draw uh, figures in our Excel uh, platform. So for instance, let us take uh, uh, question item number three, that is nationality of the respondents. Uh, and this comprises of Kenyans, Ugandans, and Tanzanians based on the on the data that had been collected from the field. So guys, as you can see in this table, 31.5% uh, of those that took part in the study were Ugandans, while 38.9% uh, were Tanzanians, and this was followed by 29.6% who took part in the study that were Kenyans. So I want us to, put, to use this data to draw a figure in Excel. So we come to Excel, uh, we come to Excel, so our nationalities included Kenyans. Remember guys, I'm using one hand to type, so because the other hand is holding a phone for recording purposes. Uh, the other nationality was Tanzanian, the other one was Ugandan, right? Uh, Ugandan. So of that, now you go back to the output of the SPSS to confirm the percentages provided. So you find that Kenyans were 29.6, 29.6. So for Kenyan, you type 29.6, while uh, this was followed by uh, this variable from SPSS that uh, for Tanzanians were 38.9%. Tanzanians, 38.9, uh, while, uh, while uh, Ugandans were 31.5%, so Ugandans, 31.5%. So remember guys, when you highlight these uh, values, make sure that they sum up to 100% as indicated down here. So for us to draw a figure, you highlight these variables together with the percentages, then you go to insert, then you can choose either to use column or you can use a bar. So for, for this, allow me to use a column.
to draw our figure. Here comes our figure. So you can do away with the series because the series have already been provided down here. So as you can see guys, uh, but remember we need to have data to show the percentages in each of these uh, bars. So you right click in any of the bars, right click, then you, you select add data uh, labels. You see, so here comes our percentages. Uh, Kenyans 29.6 as it has been indicated here Kenyan 29.6 Tanzanians and so on and so on so uh, remember these uh, bars have a uh, similar uh, similar color therefore we need to differentiate these uh, colors for easier presentations so you have to click on any of the bars you right click and then you come to format data series then you select on this section that has been written fill. Select there, then you select vary colors by point. So once you select that, you click on close. Yeah. Here we have our nice figure to present our information. So guys, you can see from here now, as a researcher, now you can easily present this uh, information. For instance, you can say uh, from figure above, from the figure above, 38.9% uh, that, that of the participants that took part in the study were Tanzanians. This was followed by slightly less than a third of them. That is that 1.5% that were Ugandans. And the remaining percentage of them, that is 29.6%, were Kenyans. This is how we can present our data. And guys, I hope from there we are ready to go. Remember, my name is Ramadan K. Shaban. Uh, you can also call me Professor Rama. And thank you guys for watching this video. Remember uh, to subscribe. And next week, I'm also going to show you how to uh, design questionnaire as well as to code data from the questionnaire to SPSS and then I'll keep on teaching you guys uh, training you guys on how to use starter and R to analyze data thank you very much have a nice time